Okay, C. Lindelof videos, the basics of logarithms. And this is just a little bit past basics because I don't want to go through all the rules. But I do want to talk about solving kind of easy equations. Here we have log base 3 of x is equal to 2. First thing I want to make sure that you get is this because people screw this up a lot. When you're writing logarithms, look, the word log and the, and the argument x are on the same line. The base is down here. It's like a sub-value. Okay, so some people kind of write the three, would write the three up, and th like this is an exponent. This is not an exponent. Okay, all right, so having said that, this is really easily solved. And just remember, I'm going to do something called exponentiating. So, exponentiate is what your professor is going to say. Exponentiate. And when you, if you exponentiate, what you're saying is this you have log base three of two. Log base three of two, this is log form, can be rewritten as three to the second power. So, this is the base, this is the power, is equal to this. So, log, so 3 squared is equal to x. Obviously, I, we can do 3 squared is 9, and x is equal to 9. So just a couple of really easy examples. Here's one that's kind of like it, very similar to it. This is log base 7 of 49 equals, I don't know, m, right? The same thing, you would do the exact same thing here. You would exponentiate, and you would rewrite this, and you would say 7 to some power is equal to 49. Right? And then you could solve this. I don't like this example as much, to be honest with you, because a question like this is better in logarithmic form, but that's not what we're talking about right this second. So you, in this case, it's relatively simple. You can see that 7 squared is equal to 49. Therefore, m would equal 2. So... Just to keep moving a little bit, I don't want to do a bunch of these. I figure I'd just turn this into maybe a three or four minute video where you get an opportunity to practice. How about this one? Looks a lot like the first one. Log base 2 of x equals 2. And hopefully, you see the pattern. Exponentiate. This is the base. This is the power. This is the argument. So 2 to the second power, power's over here, and back to this, is 2 to the second power is equal to x, x is equal to 4, right, because 2 squared is 4. All right, I feel like I'm beating a dead horse, but we'll do uh, one more really quickly just so you can see this. Oh, here's one that's a little bit different. So you take log base b, log base b of 10 squared equals 2. So here... The question is a little bit different. We're still going to exponentiate the same way. This is still the base. It's always going to be the base. This is still the exponent. It's always going to be the exponent. This is the argument. So we end up with b squared is equal to 10 squared. Well, what's missing in this picture? We have squared here, squared here. We have 10 here and a variable here. So what number would make them the same? So I'm looking for the replacement value for b. I say, okay, well, if b was 10, then we would have 10 squared equals 10 squared, question mark, and therefore b is equal to 10. All right, I just got a lot of requests for this, so I hope it's helpful. If you have any questions or comments, just let me know. Uh, if you haven't already subscribed, please do. I appreciate it. Thanks.